Yo, yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, NB, man. Your favorite rapper, singer, songwriter, and actor. Hold on for a sec. I'm testing out this new phone, man. You know what I'm saying? And so far, I'm loving the look. I'm loving the results. I don't know if I need to do my, um, <clears throat> my bougie sway. Hold up for a second. Let me see. It, it can get there. Nice little frames. Yeah, we're we going to start it off here like this. We can start it off like this. What y'all think? Wait on some people to come in this thing. We can start it off like this. You know? Nah, I want to be transparent. I want to be transparent with the people. It's been a minute since I went live and just talked to the people, man. You know what I'm saying? And I love the people. I love the support. I love what, you know what I'm saying? I love what my fans do. You feel me on Facebook and worldwide. Like, you know, that's why I have to get on this Facebook thing, man, and really show some love, even though I'm real busy doing a lot of other things, moving, shaking, and popping. I have to get on here every now and then to show the faith to the people, man, let you know the boy real. He out here. He out here doing this motherfucking thing, bro. He doing this thing, bro. And I appreciate y'all, man, supporting me, supporting everything from the shoes to the drinks on me, um, the whole brand, downloading the single. You know what I'm saying? The drinks on me. Y'all look at that thing. That's a gold record right there. You feel me? So I appreciate all the love and support. I don't have the gold record in my presence because my mom, shout out to my mom, she got it in her house sitting pretty. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to talk to the people, man, and figure out where y'all heads at, man, and you know what I'm saying? And just, you know, get my spiel on what's going on today in the world, you know? I know how important it is, man to get close to the fans and talk with the fans and engage with the fans. I know how important that is. That's why I make it my duty. I need to do better though. But I make it, I try to make it my duty. I need to do better though. I try to make it my business. And I'm gonna try to do this probably once or twice a week. To get in here and talk to the people's man and feel the vibration and the energy. I just wanna <laughs> give a special shout out to all the fans and supporters, especially the ones who buy shoes and not <laughs> want them for free. <laughs> it is what it is, though. It comes with the territory. I get it. I understand. I understand. You know, I understand. But it's just something about our people, boy. I ain't lying, but it be our people. <laughs> Let our people go. Let our people go. All lives matter. No, black lives matter. And then got that. Hey, can I get that for the free? Hey, bro, I support you in everything, hey, bro. But can I get it for the free, though? Hey, bro, come on, throw your butt a couple dollars. Bro, we out here trying to make a business, bro. We out here trying to, you know what I'm saying, have fortune. We are trying generational wealth. Out here trying to make sure that our kids and our family's kids, they ain't got to worry about none. But if I keep getting out free shit, guess what? <laughs> I'm going to be in the same boat a lot of people in America is. And that's what, not what we're trying to do. You feel me? We're not trying to do that. What we're trying to do is employ people. We're trying to, you know what I'm saying, create opportunities for people to look at us in a different light. How that light is? How the, how the light is? A different light? We're trying to get people to look at us in a different light instead of the stereotypical things that they think that dread head niggas with jewelry, gold and shit like that. We want them to, we're trying to change the narrative and I can't change everybody, but what I can do is try to talk one person at a time to somebody to change their whole mentality, especially through our youth. We got to do something better with the youth, man. We got to give them a better example and a better representation of what a king is and what a strong ma black man really is and that's the problem parents we sleeping right now these kids need y'all more than ever right now but we also caught up in everything that we doing in our personal life in our love life but we're not taking time for June June and Tony and man man and Monica they need you right now Take a back, put your relationship to the side unless you already got it together. And focus on your children. Cause they can be here today and
you strolling down your timeline and social media done told you your child is dead before you even know your child dead. Don't let social media raise your children. Don't let social media raise your children. They getting phones. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of fortunate. They have four or five of them. But they getting phones at 10 years old. And they're able to see grown folks shit at 10 years old. That ain't good, people. That ain't good. That's not good. That ain't good. I want for us to do better as parents, man. We got a whole... I know that. That's why people asking me, PNB, why you ain't got no children? Bro, you think I want to bring some kids into this world? This world right here? Yeah, I got my West Coast accent on. This world right here? Yo, man, I'll go rent a dog or something before I go bring a baby into this world right here. Nah, ain't happening, man. Unless I met a queen that was strong and equally yoked and me and her was on the same frequency and she got guns and I got guns. Because I'm going out in the blaze for mine. You ain't finna take mine out. Not for no traffic stop. Not for no traffic ticket. Not for no broken tail light. My life is done. So I still got shit to do. That's why I ain't gonna have no baby, no kids right now. Because I got shit to do. I will lose my mind, my life, my everything for mine. For real, for real. So prayers go out to all the loved ones and all the you know mothers that's lost children, man. For no reason at all. That's why I say, man, we can't allow social media to raise our children. But it's happening. Anything to make them happy, y'all doing it. They want the new iPhone. They want the new this. They want the new that. I just want to do it to keep them happy. That's what you're doing. And as you're doing that, you're really poisoning them. Not saying that your child don't deserve the best if they got the greatest grades. Yeah. Do it. But do it in moderations. Don't do it as a homegirl or a homeboy do it as a parent and have restrictions because if they can get on that motherfucking phone and do whatever they want to do like a grown-ass man like me about to be 43 about to be 43 if they can do all that on that phone the same way i can do it and the same way you can do it that's a problem shit if i if my mom gave me the opportunity I'm just going to be real quick with this. To have a phone at 10, 11, 12. The first site I'm going to. This is me. At 10. I heard about this thing. It's called porn. Pornhub.com. That's what he was talking about. It's fucking, I'm telling you what's going on with the boys. I'm telling you what's going on with the boys. And, and they're getting overexposed to different things that children don't need to be exposed to. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I remember when, man, I had to have me a job and I had to be doing my own thing. Bro, I ain't getting no cell phone until I was 20. For real, for real. I ain't get no cell phones till I was 20. These kids right now got cell phones at 9 and 10. And sometimes 5. Huh? Huh? But then as parents, they give you this talk like, you just got to do better. They already influenced by social media and everything, the apps and everything that's going on. So it's too late for that shit. They raising your children. When they don't talk to you that much. And they in their phone, and you say, I'm, I'm talking to you. Take the damn phone away. Put parental guidances on the phone so you can monitor what your child is viewing on the internet. 